Okay everybody, so this is a really super easy recipe and you can use pretty much whatever you want. Um, make it your own. So you're just going to use about two to three cups of um, chopped up dried fruit and coconut flakes. So in this particular batch I used currants and apricots, golden uh, berries, I used figs and dates, um, and then you'll see that I used coconut flakes as well. You literally can use any combination of any of that that you want, um, or if you have other fruits, if you like raisins and things like that. The one thing I would just say is that uh, for any dried fruit, you just want to make sure that it doesn't have added sugar or dyes or things like that in it. Some of them do, so just keep an eye out on those on those things. Look at your ingredients. Um, you literally, it's two to three cups of whatever mix you want. And if you are not AIP or if you've already at the re reintro phase, this is actually really, really good with pumpkin seeds and sunflower flower seeds, nuts, any kind of seed and nut mix. Uh, traditionally we would do this with um, a variety of seeds and nuts and dried fruit um, and then we would also do it with a dark uh, chocolate. So this is kind of the reno for that particular recipe. You put all that together, you melt some um, carob uh, chocolate or carob, um, you melt some carob chips uh, and then you just mix it all together, spread it out on a pan and uh, freeze it until it sets up. Then you can break it apart. You can also add any kind of extracts that you want. So if you want peppermint bark, if you want um, vanilla, just make sure that they're grain alcohol free or that they're certified gluten free uh, to keep from cross contaminating yourself. Uh, other than that, this recipe is really, really simple. It's one that we love around the holidays. Uh, it's great to take to parties as well. Everyone loves it.